I knew coming in, um, that, you know, that I enjoyed chemistry, um, but I was also looking into, you know, a health profession because I know wherever I end up, it's going to be helping people, serving people, um, you know, in that aspect. But I was kind of thinking, you know, if medicine doesn't work out, what else do I want to do? And, you know, I liked chemistry, so I was like, you know, might as well give it a shot. Um, once I got here, uh, you know, first quarter fresh, freshman year, you know, like, just like everybody else, nervous, you know, you start to realize, oh man, this is the big leagues, you know, freaking out about that first test that, you know, doesn't really work out as good as you'd hoped because this is college now, like, you know, you're getting, you're getting lower percents because it's all basically, at least in science classes, it's, it's based off of uh, where the average is, not exactly a number. Um, and, you know, about midway through the first quarter, you know, I'm stressing out about, you know, what's going on in the class and everything, and uh, I guess it was, it was just like, I don't know, it was like one of those perfect fall days, and I'm walking back from a lecture, and uh, we were talking about uh, molecular orbitals and bonding and hybridized orbitals and stuff, and uh, I just remember I, I had had trouble getting it, because uh, I was just trying to think of it as like rules and stuff like that, and I finally like visualized it and it clicked in my head on the way home just like walking home from the lecture and once I once I got it it was no longer just like set of rules and and like exceptions and things to memorize it was it was actually real and you know to me that's that was when I I knew I was in the right place and uh, I think you'll find that a lot with especially like the hard sciences and stuff like that uh, you know chemistry physics uh, when you get into like mold gen biochem all that you know real tough stuff, uh, you'll find people like either love it or hate it. Um, I think it's definitely true with chem as far as, you know, you'll find the people, I think that, at least in my experience, that love it are the people who can go beyond just, um, go beyond just like rules and, and numbers and, you know, actually step back and like see things as, as a whole. Uh, it can be tough sometimes in like your general chemistry classes because I was just throwing a ton of information at you, but especially when you get into like your second year, and like I'm taking organic chemistry right now, uh, and I took quantitative chemistry last quarter, you start to really you know dive into some some cool stuff, and uh, you can really see, you know, it's like this stuff you know stuff is real. Like we synthesized aspirin, you know, it's you know if I got a headache, I could just go ahead and <laughs> take it. But, um, you know, we did like uh, extraction of like caffeine from like tea bags, you know, just you know, and then you're looking in your textbook and you're looking at pharmaceutical drugs um, and how they synthesize it and you're learning those processes and you're figuring out how it works and um, I don't know, to me that's just exciting and uh, you'll find you know the chemistry majors that stick with it and love it are those people that are excited by you know the difference between this table and me is, is the couple of electrons movement or the movement of a couple of electrons you know between some different atoms so I don't know, it just uh, depends on whatever hits you.